It's like a similar story to before a great basketball game for 30 minutes or so, and, uh, and then we weren't able to, to do much in the, in the second half. We just weren't very good. Um, and you had the uh, Michigan State really congratulate them on winning a, a piece of the championship. It's really hard to do to, to finish your year 16 and 4. I mean, that's really hard to do. You win on, on the road, you win at home, uh, all, almost all your games. And they really they did a great job. Uh, got the block shots were a huge part of this game. That we, had, we, we did some things differently this time. We got to the rim. I think all eight, of them, maybe seven of those were layups at the rim that they came from behind and, and made a really good play. So I thought that was a big part of it. Um, and then uh, the second half, we didn't, uh, throw the, with them having 27 or 25, whatever they had at halftime, 28, I mean, that was great. That was a defense that I knew we could play. The second half, they were just better than us than that. Um, uh, they're down people too. Uh, Charles Matthews, one of the best defenders in the, in the country. Missing him again does not help us in either one of these games. He really wasn't right. Now you've got in foul trouble, and uh, we just weren't very good, and they got us in foul trouble. So t a tough loss. Uh, move on to the Big Ten Championship. Uh, if we learn as much as we did last time from when we played him, I don't know if we win, in, uh, we, uh, we win at Maryland. Let's just talk about that. We don't at Maryland if we didn't lose to Michigan State at home. We learned so much from that game about what it takes to win games, we win now. This game would have been a moot point whether it was a championship. So there's good and bad to it. We'll take the good, we'll take the, 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 the lessons we learned from this game, apply them to the Big Ten tournament, see if we can win that again. If we can't, we'll apply it to the NCAA tournament um, and just keep getting better. We've got a good group here, young men that are really hurting right now, and uh, we're with them all the way. Questions? John, uh, Winston to your left. Winston yes. started uh, slow offensively, yeah. uh, and then he caught fire in the second half. What was the difference? What was he doing, or what were you guys not doing to let him do that? I'll have to watch film more because it was, you know, we had uh, some different coverage we were going to do. They're so good in their ball screen office, offense, and he's so good at it. And they, they're just, you know, uh, Tillman has some explosiveness at the rim that is really good to throw it up to him. But he's just good at seeing the floor really well. Did a great job. For, in the first half, we really had him covered well with all that. Thought his bank three was a big part of the game too. It was a huge part. After a, we got the ball inside to John, and then we didn't get that one. It was before, or after, and then that, that bank three. Those were big plays. John, you just had that five point lead there, and then they went on that big, I think, point two run. Um, was what was it? it? What was I think it? it was like a twenty to two. Wow, that's a bad run. Yeah, I mean I, that stretch there. I mean, what what was it that, that they were doing? Did they do anything differently, or did they just kind of start deeing up a little bit better? No, I, I think we, we, we imploded a little bit on a couple of occasions where we, you know, um, just they blocked a couple of shots during that time, and that was huge. And then we missed some shots. Uh, we had, even had a couple of air balls. And so that, you know, that's really tough for us. And then now they're, they're out, and they, they didn't miss it there. We lost some coverages and transition. They put you in great rotations. And we tried to stay out of that more than we were last time. But they got them. They, just, they only made six threes. And that's, that's a goal for us, to keep people to five or six threes. They only made six, right? But they got to the foul line like crazy. And that, you know, we don't foul, and somehow we got in big foul trouble today. So blame me for that. After, yeah, Chris. You expect Charles back for the Big Ten tournament this week? That's what, I, I, I was hoping he'd be back today. I mean, I really thought there was a realistic chance at it. But he just couldn't go yesterday. He was trying. And uh, it just doesn't feel right. We're not going to make that young man go out there unless it feels right. But, but, I, but we're, I, you know, we'll see what it, it does. I thought he'd be able to play by, by today, but there's no way he can play it. And he is working so hard to come back. But you, as everyone knows, we're not very – I am proud of the way our freshmen played in the first half, right? But to have really three guys sitting on the three, – our three top forwards sitting on the bench at one time was not good in the, in the first half. And then playing like that, Iggy playing with three and four fouls. You know, maybe I second guess myself. Maybe you should take an Iggy out and get him back in, but I didn't feel we could, we could, we, we could do that that late in the game. And then eight assists, I think, in the first half. Just talk about what went right offensively in the first half. I think we, it was about our defense. Our defense was better, so it gets us in the running game, gets us going up and down the court. But I, I can't tell you the eight block shots are like huge. When you get to the rim and you're open and you don't get the ball in, right? And we had some other ones that didn't block, but they they, they affected shots, and that was a big difference in the game. Right. After the first game, you said you saw some bad one-on-one -on -one habits. Did you see those come back in a second? For us? Yeah. Yeah, there were some – with them, they're really good at switching now. They switched again. I thought we had a really good plan in the first half, 
in the second half, there's just kids aren't just used to that, you know. And then then we did get it the one time, and it was a walk. So I'll have to look at that one. But I mean, it is a it, it you can see it, but it's only for a second because they're gonna they're gonna bring a guy in quickly. As soon as you make two or three passes, they're gonna replace that guy and get a guy with size back in there. And I did see us look at it, but there's some other times. I mean, Iggy took the ball right to the basket on Kithier, and we had him set up again, but we did something else. These are things we got to learn. It looked like Colin and John were calling for the ball a lot. Did you feel like you could have thrown it in more? Yeah, them? absolutely. We're just, we're just that, as I said, that is just not like this. You have a six foot eight guy with his hands up. There's help side all around. It is t tougher than you think than just throw it up. And so it's got to be quick, and you got to have guys who can pass. We got. We had Isaiah, Isaiah Simpson can see that. Our other guys are still learning. Muhammad Ali had, uh, uh, Rachman had 25 assists in his freshman year, 135 in his senior year. It takes time to really appreciate the quickness you got to think when you see any mismatch. John, looks like, sorry. Where are we at? Uh, sorry, where are we yes, at? sir. My fault. Uh, during that big run, there were a couple times where it looked like there was a little bit of a hesitation by Xavier that maybe you were going to call timeout and then you didn't. Kind of what was the thinking there? One time it works and then one time obviously. You think that was a play? To, to almost call timeout? No, I, I, he and I will talk about that. I wanted to call timeout. We had, we, we had one coming up, we had double timeouts, right? So he and I will talk about that. Yeah. Two, two parter about the bench production in the first half. Uh, how much was you know, by design to give guys rest, and how much was uh, you know, just by necessity with the foul trouble? And what did you think of, of how those I think got, it, we wanted to give guys rest, but it got a little messed up. Like, I wanted it, it, JP didn't get a rest in the first half, and that, that he needed that. He did, was doing a great job, you know, out there on McQuay. He's doing a great job on him, and but he needed a rest, but we couldn't give it to him as soon as we took him out. You know, I, Iggy or Isaiah got another foul, and uh, but, but it, the first half it didn't, it didn't bother, the second half. You know, we came out, and then we have a tendency as a team that we want to play. And when we play, we play without fouling. And and sometimes we just it was an old A defense. So it's uh, it's too bad, right, that we, uh, we we weren't able to stay out of foul trouble and we weren't able to answer the second half. They're good. There's a rate. Right, what do we got? How many wins we got? Twenty-six. Twenty-six. How many they got? They got twenty-five. It's two really good teams. One team was going to win. One team was going to play better. They played better. And, and last year you said going in there there would be block shots, but not to let that you know deter your guys. Did you feel like yeah. there was a little bit of? A well, I think so. We had some misses later on uh, that because of that. But I think we get to the rim. They they got a few things. I mean, we 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 have some challenges at, at certain certain things that we can do, and we have to find ways to get better at, at beating getting through those the weaknesses that we have. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, defensive rebounding, I think it was 16 to 11. I, uh, what did you see that maybe was missing? I mean, their offensive rebound. Yes. Yes. So, yeah, that wasn't good. I think we just, uh, there's some of those rebounds at, at Teske and, uh, and Tillman are going for the ball, and it's up there, Tes or Tillman's going to get it, right? So there were some of those that were way, way out there. Uh, there were, but there was a couple of early, McQuaid comes in and gets a rebound. I think there was a, what we call a strong man rebound. They didn't get it. There was two guys on the block. No, we got to do better at that. Put that on me. We got to box out better. It hasn't. We're one of the best in the country at not allowing second shots. Not tonight. And then with the implosion that you that we use the word imploded, was that something mental? Did you feel like they were getting more frustrated than they should have been, or was that a strategy? Yeah, we we were. Uh, implosion is a really bad word. We weren't as poised as we needed to be. We needed to be poised at that time, and we weren't. We didn't show. You know, we wanted at Villanova. We wanted Maryland. We we went. We went. Uh, it was not Wisconsin. We didn't win that. When we went to Illinois, it was we played between like ninety percent and a hundred percent like packed houses, and we did not lose our poise in all seven of our road wins. Today we lost some poise. Early in the game, when Cassius was struggling a little bit, I guess what was Xavier doing well then? Well, first of all, Cassius was in foul trouble and had to sit most of the half, so that really helped us in the first half as well. But. No, our coverage on the ball, and that's not just Vigor, it is it's John staying in front of that guy, right? Is he able to do that? They're able to switch that a little bit, we tried later on. Is it, the backside coming in while John and Xavier, are, our two men are on, is the backside coming in and help? And we didn't do that in a few cases, and particularly when our young guys were the backside help, uh, they were nowhere to be found. And that's, you know why? Because they're young. And in terms of poise leading games, I guess, Feel like this team's 
where it needs to be in terms of that, or how can it? We won seven road games. We're pretty good at winning, right? We just lost to a really good team. It's not about us. We lost to a really good team, and but this will make us better. Anything else? Go ahead, Jim. John, how can a game like this, I guess, help in the maturation, maturation process for some of the younger guys? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, we, we return to everybody from this team. I mean, this is a young, young team. I'm glad we don't have, you know, a senior night you know, like that with the three. They got, they got guys out there that are five-year player, a four-year player that they've been through a lot and they know how to win. They've been, you know, four years and five years. That was like Duncan Robinson and Muhammad Ali out there. That's those are that's what really helps you win. So I think as we go through this thing. Uh, we're going to be so much better next year because of all the lessons we learned in all these darn games. And then for Charles, could he have gone in an emergency situation? No, I, you know, because of a foul trouble, he probably would have been there. But, you know, and I'm all for it. You know, he's going to tell us what his body feels. And he actually ran, he did some fast break drills yesterday, he made a beautiful three in traffic, he did everything. But they're just, he couldn't cut the way he wanted to cut. And we're not going to put him out there. He's going to be a liability defensively, offensively. But he's such a good defensive player. Like when, when, when they got some of those layups, Charles would have been standing in there. Not an excuse, right? They could have Ward in there. But they're really, they're a little deeper than we are at that posi at, at a couple of positions. And that's the, way it, that's the way it goes. Just before we finish, our players are available outside our locker room. Go ahead, Chris. John, just kind of let sum this all up. I mean, this is the first time this state has seen a game of this magnitude on one of the home yeah. courts. I, I guess, did it live up to what you expected in terms yeah, of Yeah, it was time? great. It was both, both games really were like great atmospheres. You know, if they, if, they, if they listen to probably Tom and I and say, make this the last game of every year for years, we will be in this thing. Now, are we all always playing for the championship? You don't know. But I think just it's a great concept for us to look at. This should be, you no. Know, who won the Duke North Carolina game? Carolina. Okay, so I mean that should be a backup. That, that, isn't that a great thing for us to have, right? And, and I was just thinking about last year. I mean they won the regular season last year too, right? We won the Big Ten championship. You guys should be writing about that stuff. I mean in our own state, the two, there's 14 teams in this league, and you got the two champions last year. And maybe we'll do it again. It's great. This is great time for for big time basketball in this state, and it's wonderful. And that, I, I know you appreciate that. I'm not going to say you don't appreciate that. But it, this is like a, a very unique situation. We're all in with two great programs. And uh, we, let's just hope we can both keep it going for as long as we can because it's great entertainment. It's great Saturday night basketball. So thank you, everybody. Great, great, great season. We'll see you at the Big Ten Tournament. Thank you.